Hi, I'm Jane and welcome to my world, Jane's world. Well, tonight I have a very special word for someone called Lucy and the name that keeps coming to my mind is Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Um, you're a drug addict from heroin or LSD. Um, I don't know the song's going around my head. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds to do with the trip with LSD. Um, so Lucy, you're from Louisiana strangely enough, USA, and you like to call yourself either Lucy Lou, but everyone knows your nickname, which is Lulu, and that's your favourite name that you're called by. Um, so you've got a drug addiction, however, in saying that, it doesn't matter because I've got a word from God for you tonight, Lucy, or Lulu. Um, you used to have a Christian upbringing with your parents, but you've kind of fell by the wayside. But don't worry about that, because God loves us where we're at, no matter what, because we're only human, and everyone has at least one addiction that I've known throughout my life, including me, the small one. So, Lucy, um, one of the messages I have for you is um, drop the guilt. And just be more kind and loving and merciful to yourself. Forgive yourself. Uh, then you'll be on the right path. Don't worry about what others say about you. They may think you're hopeless. But I've got to say, drug addicts are human. And so are you. And you have the right to be treated with respect. Anyway, the word I've got for you tonight, which I got from God years ago. I'm not being religious, just spiritual. Uh, is Isaiah 54. You read the whole chapter, but tonight I'll just give the key verses that hit me. Okay, Isaiah 54. Sing, O barren, thou that does not bear, King James. Break forth into singing, and cry aloud, thou that did not travail with child, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. This means build a solid foundation for you, Lucy, and increase in love. And that is one of the important things, regardless of what you're doing. At the base heart of it, increase your love, because you are a very loving, giving person. Okay? For thy maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth shall he be called. For the Lord hath called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit, and a wife of youth when thus was refused, saith thy God. So you've been through a lot of rejection, which is a core issue. That causes many problems, including drug addiction. Um, I hope I got the words right for this. O oh, thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colours, and lay thy foundations with sapphires. In other words, God accepts you for who you are, and he's the one that makes you beautiful. And I like to say this in case anybody condemns you in judgment, because no one has the right to judge anyone or human. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So in other words, you're not being particularly righteous, it's just God accepts you for where you're at and he takes you as a person for who you are. I've always known this, it's, um, that's a great bit, God, love and light, uh, he accepts us for who we are and where we're at at any time throughout our lives and still he remains our best friend. Anyway, that's it for me signing off, Joan.